And finally, talk of election interference is always bound to make feelings run high. But when a British-born comedian who's big in America comes between New Zealanders and their beloved Kiwi bird, well, that's a recipe for controversy, if ever there was one. Geraint Vincent has the story. The rarely seen mating ritual of the Australasian Great Crested Grebe, or the Puteki Teki as it's known in New Zealand, where it has just been voted bird of the century. And congratulations to it. But if you look at the breakdown of votes in the competition held by a conservation charity, you'll notice something odd. The Puteki Teki won by a landslide. There is frankly no bird on earth more deserving of the title bird of the century than this one right here. I mean, look at this thing! For reasons which remain unclear, the waterfowl received some high-profile endorsement in the United States from the British-American comedian John Oliver, who used his show and others to promote the Puteki Teki's cause. It was a global campaign with billboards in Mumbai and banners in Brazil, which made sure the Kiwi, New Zealand's national bird, was pushed into second place. How dare you say I don't like birds? I love them. I just don't like your bird. It looks like a rat carrying a toothpick. All good fun for the charity which organised the vote in a country where an astonishing 80% of native birds are listed as endangered species. You know, we don't care about what we don't know about, so being able to talk about these birds is really important for raising awareness. Um, but also we hear from individuals and communities who are inspired to start trapping in their communities, businesses who want to change how they do things because, you know, it's better for biodiversity, and also just demonstrating to our decision makers that, hey, New Zealanders care a lot about birds and we need the investment to protect them. Among the Puteki Teki's other endearing behaviours is carrying its young on its back. Conservation efforts have restored its numbers from a low of 200 to around 1,000 today, and it's now enjoying a public profile the like of which it has never known. Geraint Vincent, ITV News.